Welcome back to the NBA convention in Orlando. There was something heard but not seen at the convention, electric aircraft. No actual flying machines in the static display or on the exhibit hall floor, but lots of talk. Warren Morningstar has more. And you have your big propellers turning with electric engines. You have no noise, no noise. You have no pollution. You have no fuel. And there's a moment where you think, wow, I'm in the future. I'm in a film of science fiction. And then you think, no, no, it's today. This is what the technologies of today allow us to do today. And then you understand how much the rest of the world is in the past. At this year's NBAA convention, it's clear that the future is electric. Multiple keynote speakers talked about how electric power is going to revolutionize aviation. So distributed electric propulsion, which is taking the same technology that's driving drones, the same technology that's allowing electric cars become a more and more meaningful form of transportation, can be applied to make new type of aircraft that are radically simpler um, and thus much, much cheaper to operate and also have much uh, more efficient operation through the use of, of, of all electric powertrains. And presentations on electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles, or eVTOLs, say that the future will be urban air transportation. The vision that we have is that uh, it's a really new frontier for aviation. And uh, we are not talking just about economics. We're talking about everything. From Boeing to Bell to Embraer, major companies are buying into Uber's vision of eVTOLs providing on-demand aerial transportation at the click of an app. So what we envision is a world of, of aerial ride sharing, where there are, are vehicles that can take off and land vertically like a helicopter, but that can fly quietly and efficiently like an airplane, um, utilizing new technologies uh, from electric propulsion, from electric cars and from drones, um, to, to make a, this new form of mobility that is accessible to many people um, and that can really transform the way people move around cities. And Allison says an Uber Air flight will be affordable. Our analysis shows that for a typical helicopter used in a charter type of an operation, we're talking about $9 per passenger mile. We think that the electric VTOL technology alone can reduce the cost to something around $6 per passenger mile. And, and that's roughly equivalent to what it costs to take uh, one of our Uber Black premium products right now. And we think that by then applying more technology that we are actually already developing and using in our ground business of kind of aggressively pooling and matching, um, matching people into these vehicles, so kind of really leveraging that idea of ride sharing. Um, we call it ride share economics. We can actually further reduce the price um, to something more like $2 per passenger mile, which is, is pretty close to what our kind of everyday product, UberX, costs um, right now for ground transportation. Brave new world. Warren Morningstar, AOPA Live.